I just want to make a quick video here showing you guys stuff to look for uh, in terms of making sure your auto bed leveling system is working correctly. And one of them is making sure your X gantry is level. And by level, I mean level with the frame of the printer, not the bed. Now, this particular machine I have is really bad with it. And I have to check it every now and then because when I turn the steppers off, you can see the gantry tilts. So, to actually show you, you can see here that, and I, I reference from the top of the screw head, so you can see that the top of the screw head, um, or the hex head, I should say, in the screw, is below that thicker line, just below there, almost lined up perfectly, whereas on the left here, you can see, this one is pretty much centered on. So that's going to throw off your auto bed leveling system. So what you need to do is, before print, you can add a G28, if you're using Octoprint, um, or just manually home it. So I use the Octoprint, but I'll show you how to manually do it. So I'm gonna go to Auto Home, and then I'm gonna over, I'm gonna home my printer here. And now the Z motors are engaged, so that means they're locked. So what I can do then is put this motor into the correct position. So again, I go ahead and I look at that point of reference here. So I can see that the middle of the hex head on the screw is lined up with this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and go on the left here and you can see it's lined up with <laughs> this one here. So it needs to go up a couple millimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the back of the printer here and I'm going to grab the coupler okay, that actually couples the lead screw to the motor. And then I'm going to move it so it centers it like the other one. And you'll hear the motor skipping, I'm sure you can hear it in the video. And that's it. So now my X gantry is leveled. It's pretty close. Let me see how it looks on this side here. Yeah, so they're pretty close there. And that's what you want to do, because the auto bed leveling system corrects for bed issues, not for gantry skew. Now, if I were to start a print for my Octopi, it would home it again, but the motors are going to stay locked, and that's the important part. So once you start the heat up cycle, it's going to keep the Z steppers locked, meaning it's going to save this position. Now, if I disable my steppers, so you can go to the prepare menu, and there's a disable stepper option, you're going to see this side drop down a little bit. So I'm going to focus here, so I'm going to hit Disable Steppers, and it didn't drop down this time, but this one does occasionally. If I just put a little pressure on here, see that? That's what it does sometimes when the motors turn off. So that's what you want to look for, and you can go ahead and try to adjust it while the motors are off, but you'll see it, like just barely touching it, it can just go back to the old position. So I recommend doing it with the steppers locked. You're not going to hurt anything. It may sound bad because you're making it skip a step, but that's how you make sure your gantry is level. Now, if you don't have our easy level stickers, you can print out X alignment blocks on Thingiverse. Um, I really like our stickers here because uh, it makes this a lot easier. And like I said, I just eyeball it from like the head of the screw to whatever the closest line is across here. Um, I'm going to eventually make some little pointers to just basically point at this that you can press fit into here but i haven't had time to design them so if anybody has time to design them that'd be great um i'll even give you some free product if you can make ones that press fit in here and point straight across and that'd be a quick print but hopefully this helps someone out and i'm gonna go back to uh getting our other machines fixed